And away they go in the T52 category. Can sometimes take a few metres to get going. And it is Oya of Japan who's got out the fastest of all. Raymond Martin gets going in the second half of the races. He's chasing down Oya at the moment. It's Martin who goes past Oya. And victory there for Raymond Martin in 16.99 seconds. So it is Japan who picks up a silver through Oya Yuki. Disappointment for the man who was the reigning Paralympic champion, Gianfranco Iannotta. Mexico take a bronze medal, a lifetime best for Perez Juarez. But Raymond Martin, the world champion, he takes a little bit of time to get going. He's very strong in the second half of the 100 meter races. And he showed that yet again. A seventh Paralympic gold for Raymond Martin. After losing it in 2016, Mexico pick up a bronze. But for that man, he won it in London in 2012. He lost it in 2016. He's regained it at Tokyo 2020. Well, Oya gets away quickest of Japan. Iannotta in lane six was left quite some way back and really struggling. And Martin in that last 50 metres, he just gone past Oya really smoothly and looking really good in lane two was Perez Juarez who took the bronze on the far side there in the number two helmet but it's all about the USA in this one Raymond Martin with a gold medal he's picked up two silvers here already in the 400 and 1500 he now has that gold he's been looking for in the 100 meters category and reclaims the Paralympic title as world champion and Paralympic champion Sixteen point nine nine the confirmed time. Well his lifetime best is that sixteen point four one that he set in Arbonne in Switzerland back in May of twenty nineteen. Oya looked really good at that point. The Japanese in attendance here, the officials, those with accreditation were cheering him on. But just look at the man with number four, Raymond Martin. Stormed home in the last part of the race.